Hi, I'm Liberty. Welcome to Before and Afters at Century Farms. I am so happy with how our dining room ceiling turned out. And now I want to show you how I did it. Okay, the backs of these tiles are drying for the dining room ceiling. I used a zebra two inch chisel brush and it really helped the process to go quickly on this. I'm really glad I tried out this brush. I'll show you the product I'm putting on the back. It is polyurethane for floors. And even though it's for floors, it's working nicely on the tin. Okay, I am painting these tin tiles for the dining room. I've already done a different technique on the piano room. So I want to show you what I figured out for these for the dining room. So this was my practice tile and I did not like how it turned out. You can look a little closer. You see all these brush marks and stuff? I was using a paintbrush a little bit. I tried using this foam pad and I wanted to hit the high spots. And my other tiles, I rubbed off the high spots. And I wanted a dry brush technique, but it was just looking awful to me. And I didn't know what I was going to do. And then I remembered I had this roller. This, this is a, a Wooster roller, six inch roller. And thankfully I had this tray and I'm gonna show you how I've been getting the technique I like. So this is what I ended up doing that I really like. And I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that. So I'm brushing, I'm taking some paint and putting it on here. Not too much, just a little bit. Can you see that? And then I dip into my water because it, it dries really quickly since I'm only using a small amount. So that's why I add the water so it doesn't dry so quickly. Then I, I roll on here. See, I don't want much paint on here at all because I want a dry brush technique. But I don't want to waste a lot of paint by rubbing it off onto a piece of paper or a rag. So these bumps really help. And I can just push up on the bottom to um, get just the right amount of hardly any paint on my roller. So now you can just watch how I do this. It's, I have 50 of these to do, so I don't want to spend a lot of time on them all. So, I just want to really quickly show you how fast I can do one tile. These flowers are a little lower than the rest. But see how I just lightly roll and how quickly, and when you're dry brushing, I figured this out, you just, you can't go with perfection. You just gotta expect there to be imperfections and that's the beauty of it. And so this roller so nicely hits the high spots. I'm so thankful that Swoos from Black Dog Salvage Paint told me about this roller because it's perfect. You know, a bigger roller wouldn't do good. A smaller roller, this six inch roller, it's purple when it doesn't have paint on it. It is just perfect. So I hope you have enjoyed seeing how I'm doing these. If it dries too lightly, I may go back and put another coat. I'm not sure yet, but I love how there's no brush marks and it's just giving such a nice look. I've done 
uh, 13 of these already. So I wanted to show it to you after I got my routine down. So 35 more to go. Before I painted the panels, I did have to cut out these odd shaped panels. To do that, I first made a cardboard template and then used a guillotine style paper cutter to cut the tin along with tin snips. The tiles are very lightweight, so when it's time to install them, you need to use these clips to hold them to the grid. The clips are very strong and hard to install, so after I did the piano room ceiling, I asked my husband to help me with the other ceilings. The drop ceiling grid in the dining room was a different style, so we had to use binder clips and shims instead of the clips to hold the tiles down. No style of clip will work along the walls because there's nothing to grab onto, so we had to use rocks or bricks to hold the tiles down. When I asked the manufacturer what they recommended, they said, quote unquote, a weighted object. And I said, okay, so like a rock or a brick. And they said, yes. Okay, here is a glimpse of the old ceiling fan that we replaced. So here's the dining room. And what I really want to show you in here is the ceiling and the light. All finished, painted with black dog salvage furniture paint and American tin ceilings. I just love the glow on the ceiling, give some extra light in the room. We have four windows facing the road there. A window behind that throw that goes into my pantry. And then one more window here on the left that looks onto the front porch where the front door is. That's my sewing machine. On the other side of the room is this blanket rack that I found by the side of the road and I have my tablecloth stored on it. Actually, the only piece of furniture in this room that I bought was the sewing machine at an auction for $2. If I turn the light on, you won't be able to see much of anything, but I do need to show you what the light does. So I'll turn the light back off and watch this. We don't have any air conditioning. So it was a necessity to have a ceiling fan in here. And that is called a retractable fan or a fandelier. So just had to show you that. And I hope you have enjoyed seeing the finished dining room. Thanks for watching.